Hey everybody, welcome to Princess Auto's Facebook Live. You're tuned in to the best show online today. And I'm not just saying that, but I kind of am. My name is Dan Verbill, and you are here for See It Work. This is our very special show where we show you, our Princess Auto customers, exactly how some of our products that we have in store work. So you can see them live and in action. So I'm here today, as I always am, with my good friend, Mr. Derek Chalmers. Derek, how's it going? Good, thanks to be here. Awesome, yes it is, as always. Um, so today, we have a great product that we're going to showcase for all the folks. Derek, by the way, works at our Panit store here in Winnipeg. If you recognize him, you probably do. He's pretty famous. Um, today, we have a great product. We've got a 20 gallon, is that right? 20 gallon? Correct. 20 gallon Pro Point Silent Air Compressor. So it is a very nice unit. And Derek, can you just walk us through exactly what we're looking at here? Absolutely. Well, the term silent uh, would indicate that it is very quiet. It's not indeed silent, but we are about a half the decibel rating of a common compressor the same size. Um, 20 gallon compressors usually range in the 80 to 90 decibel rating uh, at, at rated at 25 feet. This is uh, somewhere in the low 50s. Okay, yeah. so it's, it's silent compared to everything else it's, on the market. It's, much it's pretty quieter. quiet. Much quieter, absolutely. Yeah, it's very yeah. quiet. Yeah. So do you see a lot of people going toward the silent these days? or? Yeah, we've, we've just got them in, so they're, they're pretty new to us, but uh, there's a lot of interest in them. Um, the applications for them, especially with the low noise level, um, they're, uh, they're, they're far reaching. Um, inside buildings, you wouldn't typically have an air compressor. Um, uh, a lot of guys are using them for uh, uh, you know, supplying uh, air for uh, 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 spray foam applications mm. for their mask, fresh yeah. air. Uh, so, huh. yeah. I wouldn't have, think, wouldn't have thought of that as an yeah, application no, that's for they're, it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty eager about it. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Well, just in case you're tuning in right now, my name's Dan, this is Derek. This is Princess Auto's Facebook Live. Today we're talking about a silent air compressor. Derek just told me this air compressor is very silent. I believe him, and I think you all believe him too, but I want to I want to test it out. Can we test it out? Absolutely. Okay, so let's test this out. We have, a, we have another air compressor we'll test after this, a, no, a regular one, not a normal one. Um, but so let's, let's fire up the decibel yeah, machine. Yeah, we've got a decibel meter right here. Put that guy down, start it up. That's pretty quiet. Yeah, quite quiet. You can have a conversation over top of it. Sounds like the crowd at a Leafs home game. <laughs> That's wow. right. After they score a goal. So this close, of course, to the decibel rating with the meter is going to be a lot higher than it will be at the, the typical 25 feet of rating. But um, I mean, uh, we can compare it with one of yeah, the uh, standard that. oiless ones. So we what, have. Did, what did we hit there? We were in the very low 80s. Very, okay. Yep. So let's wheel out this bad boy. I've got my phone on me, by the way, the entire time. I'm, I'm watching the comments, questions roll in. So if you have a question, don't be shy, throw it out there and we'll try to get to you. So we'll just get this guy going and let's, uh, let's hear the difference. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking we might not even need the decibel meter for no, this. No, we won't need the decibel meter. <laughs> it's quite obvious. All right. Ready? Yep. It's a little different. A little bit different. Let's yep. keep having a conversation <laughs> over this one. Wow. That's night and day. Yep, absolutely. That's a night and day yep. difference. Do you, do, you, uh, do you see the applications call it? So the silent one, you're saying guys in their air masks for yeah, spray I foam. Mean, yeah, but because could you use this one too? But it's you certainly noisier. could. Yeah, you certainly could. I mean, you know, ideally you're going to have it, um, you know, well away from you if you're working in a confined space, in a basement, in a small shop. Um, you know, you can put a longer air hose on it and that'll get you farther away and that'll take the, uh, the sound down a bit. So yeah. that's helpful. Um, they'll, they'll do pretty much the same work that, uh, you know, either one's going to be compatible to the same type of tool, the same type of job. But um, within this spectrum, you'd be using it to inflate tires, uh, run brad nailers, framing nailers. Um, you can work in small uh, impact wrenches. Uh, your, your storage and your flow on these guys, your cubic feet per minute rating, isn't as high as some of the larger stationary units you'll see in shops and large garages. Um, but you can work with the tools. They just won't work to the peak efficiency of the tool. So you can do winter tire changes, mm -hmm. summer tire changes, those kind of things. Um, and even into some small spraying applications, sanding. Uh, but again, you're working within the constraints of the amount of air it's going to supply. Gotcha. Yeah. So when it, when it comes to a few of the, the things on here, I, one of the things I noticed as I'm not super hands on all the time, shocker, um, oil free. I saw that. I'm like, that's yep. great. I can, They're, so what does that exactly mean? Absolutely. Oil free? Well, they're referred to as an oil free or a maintenance free compressor. So there is a very small amount of maintenance to do to these guys. And basically what I'd suggest after every use, drain the tank, drain the air out of the tank, leave the valve open, let the water drain out. Um, that's going to, uh, you know, prolong the use of the tools. The water's not going to be traveling down the hose going into the air tools. It'll save the inside of the tank. It's a natural finish inside the tank. Mm -hmm. So it's raw metal. 
Um, so the more water and moisture you have in there for the longer period of time, it's going to eventually rust through over years. Uh, so that's going to help you know, get the value out of the compressor. Um, and typically on a, a regular large compressor, um, you're going to get a, a belt-driven oil bath compressor. Uh, this does not have that. This is direct drive off the motor, so it's hooked up directly to the electric motor. And um, no oil change, no seasonal oil changes to worry about. There are air filters on this unit, as there are on the smaller uh, uh, oil or less compressors. Uh, they just have to be cleaned out once in a while to make sure that the air you're taking in is, is effective getting into the compressor. So I guess cleaning those out would depend on how often you're using it. Exactly. Yeah, in um, the environment as well. If you're doing a lot of sanding or, um, you know, if it's in a, a you know, a, a barn or a, mm -hmm. an outbuilding or something like that, that might not be as clean as a, an average shop, then yeah, you'd have to go a little bit, uh, a little bit more frequently and check them. So you talked about brad nailers before. Um, yeah. What other kinds of accessories uh, are we plugging into this unit? Sure. What do well, you I've got? got some over here I can show you. Yeah, let's dive into these. Very nice. Yeah. So here's a, just a standard 18 gauge brad nailer. You can do crown staples with them, brad nails. Um, these are ideal for that. They're very portable. Um, and of course, the, the, um, the sound, you can get them very close to where you're working without a big problem. You can use some air ratchets. Sparing use in larger volume uh, air impact guns. Um, like I say, you can do some sanding, you can do some painting with it as well, even a little bit of light sandblasting, but you have to be very cognizant that it will not supply uh, for large jobs, right? If you're doing a truck frame, auto body work, you want to look at something that's going to supply a little bit more air because you're basically doing uh, a lot of sanding, a lot of sandblasting, you're opening up a tap, and the higher volume of air and higher pressure of air that you'll get out of a larger machine is really what that tool wants. So basically know, know what job you're doing and, and find the exactly. appropriate yep. compressor. Yeah, measure job. the compressor to it. So we got some questions coming in. First and foremost, if you're just tuning in, I'm Dan, this is Derek. You've turned into Facebook Live and our very second episode, very second. I don't even know what that means. It's our second time, sure. This is uh, See It Work. We're showing you the products we have in store. You're seeing them work live here today. So we have some couple questions for you. Uh, Steve would like to know, Derek, what is the max pressure rating on the silent air compressor? This is 125 PSI, which is pretty common for most air compressors in the maybe up to 30 gallon range. Yeah. Okay, Steve, hope that answers your question. I think it did. Um, Don from, from the PEG would like to know, can I sandblast with the silent air compressor? We kind of talked about that a yeah. little bit already. You could do some small jobs if you had, uh, I, I know a lot of guys come in and they're doing um, a lot of restorations on uh, old lanterns, uh, small steel toys from the 40s, 50s, 60s, small jobs, small uh, rust repair jobs on cars. You can do that. Um, but again, you'd have to kind of uh, measure the tool to what you're doing and, and what you'd expect. You can do a larger job. It will just take a lot longer if you're looking at maybe doing a portion of a frame or an inner fender or something like that. But it, it is possible. You just have to work with the constraint of the tool. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what else do you, do you have on the tail here? Do we dive yeah. into everything? We got well, some attachments. Um, we yeah, got tire inflators. I mean, these guys are super for you know somebody to have at a cabin, uh, have in a home garage. Um, if you can't get the unit to where you're going, you can always put a 100-foot hose on it or extend the hose out farther. If you want to do some uh, fence repair in the backyard, you, you can wheel it out, throw an extension cord on it, and, and uh, work out in the yard. Um, if you're building a deck, uh, maybe doing a home renovation, a uh, new basement, you can put uh, an air nailer to use. Um, uh, small spraying applications as well. If you're doing some uh, refinishing of some lawn furniture, uh, woodworking jobs, uh, doing some kitchen cabinets, you can spray those kind of things too. That's a lot. Yep. That's a lot of things they could do. Absolutely. What, uh, in your experience in the store, yep. how, like you've mentioned a couple of different projects you've heard folks talking about. Right. Does any stand out? Do you think of one where you're like, wow, this guy's taking on this job? Well, recently I had somebody come in and say, could you use something this size to paint a house? Uh, you could. Uh, I did tell them that you're going to be doing a lot of work to get that <laughs> house painted. Um, to put it into perspective, uh, years ago uh, when I was younger, I did a two-car garage with fresh drywall and I primed the inside of it with a spray gun and air compressor and it took, because of the fresh drywall and soaking in uh, to that, it took about two days to get it sealed for fresh paint. Would have been a lot faster with a roller, but these are <laughs> hey, how you learn. You got to use the tools. You got to use the, way, the tools. This is the way you learn things. If you have it, you might as well use it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, if you're just tuning in right now, we are talking about a silent air compressor here. Let's let's fire it up one more time, sure. just so so you Absolutely. can hear. Are you yeah. that you can't hear? Yeah. Uh, just how quiet it is. Yeah. Well, I would fire it up. Maybe wheel the other one. Yeah. And let's we'll do a let's bring them both out sure. again. So I'll give this a go. See, we can still talk. Yeah. We, can, we still... can talk. We can have a conversation now. While this one's running, fire that one up and we'll see if we can hear this one. Almost Not really. 
just kind of drains it out. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I mean, the, the value of it, these are a little bit more expensive, but um, you know, depending on the job and depending on the budget, uh, we have pretty much something to fit everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the specs, the specs on both these units it's can be turn, very similar. Yeah, pressure 100 and 125, somewhere in that range. CFM on this unit, uh, the silent compressor is slightly higher, so cubic feet per minute. That's usually used to gauge what kind of tool you're going to be able to use. Um, you're going just under eight to six CFM. So depending on you know the tool you're needing, um, probably uh, most hand tools, uh, nailers, you're looking at probably four, five, six CFM. So this is well within the spec of it. And the uh, the other oilless compressor there, you're in the same range. Mm -hmm. um, as you start getting into higher volume applications, painting, sandblasting, uh, larger impact guns, you start creeping into nine to thirteen cubic feet per minute or higher. So again, you can use it; it just won't be as effective as it would be with a larger compressor. Gotcha. And yeah. I think one of the things we might have overlooked early on when chatting about this is that it's portable. It's Absolutely. a portable unit, yep. right? So it's got the yep. wheels, it's got wheels, it's rubber tires, solid easy rubber, easy to maneuver. Yep, no flats. No flats. You haven't let me try to wheel it yet. <laughs> I'll figure out a way. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't worry. But yeah, there's yep. a lot of different things you can use uh, with with this unit that we offer yep. in the store or online yep. uh, that you can pick up. But basically, for any kind of job you have around those, this is a perfect unit uh, for those types of those types of projects. Absolutely. And I could make the suggestion if somebody wants to get the, the the biggest benefit they can out of any compressor is investigate further into the fitting. So we've got some fittings here. Uh, this is a common M style fitting. Uh, if you buy a compressor that has a coupler on it or you buy a tool that comes with a plug-in fitting, like a lot of the air nailers do, that's always going to be an M style. So regardless of where it is, what brand it is, mm. M is the most common uh, style of fitting that you're going to find. Um, you'd look at something maybe into a higher volume hose from a quarter inch hose to a three eighths diameter hose uh, and the fitting uh, selection as well. You go into uh, a V style, V is in Victor or uh, an H is in Harry, uh, that's going to give you more airflow. So a larger hose coupled with those fittings will get the most air delivered to the tool and that's going to make the tool work a lot easier. Hmm. Yep. Well, we've got another question coming in. By the way, if you're just tuning in, I'm Dan, this is Derek, you're on Princess Auto's Facebook Live. This is See at Work, we're showing you today our brand new silent air compressor that we're offering in our store. So Adam in Winnipeg, he says, how does the weight of the silent one compare to the louder model? Is it quieter but heavier? No, it's not much heavier. I, I'd say I'd, I'd have to look at the spec, but I would estimate that they're probably maybe four or five pounds See. off. They, they're not going to be a lot different. The, the bulk of these guys, the weight is in the tank. So the tanks are the same size, yep. same amount of steel. Um, the heads and the motors on these, there's an extra head on the silent. Um, it Can't balances out that, uh, that pulse and makes it a little bit quieter. So um, it's very close yeah they're very, pretty very close. close yeah i just tested it adam they're pretty close yeah. it's official <laughs> uh, we got a question from perry is the silent compressor intrinsically safe i don't know the answer to that i'd have okay. to take a look uh intrinsically what safe. what does that even mean I was, when i read the question i'm like i don't even get understand this <laughs> intrinsically you, safe would typically uh, uh stand for something that you could use in an environment that might have a fume uh, that might be explosive mm. so in a in a paint shop um, uh, in an application where you might be working around or near uh, underground lines that might have some, uh, some gas, some explosive gas in it, that's basically what it is. Okay. Yep. So we will, we will look into that and we will get back to you, Perry. We believe it is. That was a great question. That, that definitely question. expanded that's, my mind. That's the first time anybody's asked that about yeah. a compressor to yeah. my knowledge. Yep. Yeah. So yep. good job, Perry. You're Absolutely. keeping us all honest yep. out there. Yep. So Let's, let's, let's close things out today on our Facebook Live session. Let's, let me ask you one more question. Sure. Hopefully this one uh, we don't go too deep on, but we might have to. Who knows? See. We got time. We got time. Um, I'm in the market for an air compressor, let's say. Who is this air compressor perfect for? Well, in that being said, I mean, if you are looking at taking it out, uh, doing work out in the yard, and you don't want to have um, that high decibel rating running behind you, especially if it's in a high volume application, mm -hmm. you're going to be doing a lot of sanding, a lot of spraying, a lot of impact work. Um, this is ideal. Somebody who's going to have it in a basement, possibly. I know a lot of guys do keep compressors down in the basement. This is perfect. Um, it, it could be used in a in a in a business um, where they might have some you know uh, uh, you know folks nearby that don't want to hear that rattle 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 going on. So yeah, I mean there's there's all different kinds of applications. It 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 could be used pretty much anywhere. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, thank you again for popping in, Derek, for this Absolutely. great show. We'll see you My guys pleasure. next time. And uh, thank you all for tuning in to Princess Auto's Facebook Live. 
and see it work. We're very excited to keep this series going. So if you have any ideas of products you want to see work live and explained in detail by Mr. Derek Chalmers, please drop us a line. Let us know on Facebook. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for tuning in.